doon sa mga audience po natin uh, na naghanap ng mga business opportunities like for example livestock kagaya ng black pig upgraded black pig ano po sir ang masasabi nyo sa kanila uh, <coughs> sa mga viewers ng agribusiness uh, I would like to first uh, pasalamatan ang ating kaibigan si Sir Buddy kasi kung hindi sa kanya hindi makikilala itong ginagawa natin sa pag-aalaga ng, ng itim na baboy, ng ating native, at yung pag-cross ng, ng Berkshire. And uh, napakalaki ang potential at uh, opportunity dito. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I encourage you to follow yung agribusiness site kasi there, there's so much to learn sa advocacy ni Sir, Sir Buddy to strengthen yung food security sa Pilipinas. At iisal pa lamang ang pag-aalaga ng baboy dito. Uh, there, there are so many other opportunities here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, isa po ako sa mga resources na natap ni Buddy and uh, I'm more than happy to share kung ano man ang uh, nalalaman ko or natutunan ko sa mm -hmm. uh, maikling experience ko dito. So, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat at maraming salamat, Buddy, yes, for all your help. Apo. <laughs> si Sir LJ po, number 16. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, sumulong tayo on the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> second district, sir, no? Yes, second Counselor, district. Counselor, second, dis second district. Thank you. Available na po ang Agribusiness merch sa Shopee. Ang uh, link nasa description box. Kasi hindi nga yung sikreto. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I just wanted to share kung ano yung, yung ginagawa ko and how many times the whole cycle should be repeated mm -hmm. to get uh, consistency sa, sa production. Mm -hmm. And then um, <clears throat> uh, I want to explain why I'm choosing um, frozen semen rather than just any live uh, pure Berkshires for mm. crosses kasi mm -hmm. uh, when you get yung mga selected na frozen semen from select sires mm. meron na silang traits na alam nilang sure na laging pinapasa mm. no? like meat quality marbling score high mm. marbling scores uh, good maternal traits yung mga yung mga ganun no mm -hmm. so ako, I, I i choose for specific traits talaga when i when i select sires na ini-import ko na frozen semen mm -hmm. and so ako i breed more really towards uh meat quality mm -hmm. so yun yung yun yung focus ko sa sa breeding, sa breeding. Kaya, uh, there there may be some that are breeding uh basta may may pure na berkshire na lalaki or pure na berkshire na babae Pero not all are proven sires or mm -hmm. proven dams na nakakapagpasa ng, ng traits na kailangan mm -hmm. mo talaga to improve yung, yung breeding program mo. Mm -hmm. Kaya ako, very, very specific pagkadating sa ganyan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I get from two sources. I get from SGI sa Iowa mm -hmm. in, in America and I get from... Uh, uh, deer Park sa, sa Northern Ireland kasi sa Northern Ireland naman uh, they only get from the 13 remaining and known families talaga na that was kept pure for uh, the Berkshire strain and, and its qualities mm -hmm. so kaya doon lang ako sa dalawa na yun talaga na, na kumukuha oh. Sir advance itong topic natin ngayon. Mm -hmm. uh, compared dun sa na, naunang mga topics natin before, kumbaga, that, that's more on yung cultural management ng fattening, parang ganun. But this time, breeding tayo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Kasi, ano, you know, and, uh, a lot of people have already started. Eh? A mm -hmm. lot of people have already picked up on the uh, on the bandwagon uh, mm -hmm. na mag-breed ng, ng better animals to improve yung native natin and to even uh, uh, get from the, the Berkshire yung qualities niya at mm -hmm. dal hindi to sa, sa Philippines pero mm -hmm. to do it 
the right way or at least what I perceive is mm. the right way no mm. uh, y- yun yung gusto ko lang din ma- ma- i- impart para rin lahat kami are, are all headed in the, re- the same direction mm. no kasi wala naman sikreto talaga sa 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 breeding eh mm. di ba it, it's really just consistency sa, sa purpose mo eh mm. so ayan yung ano natin yung isa sa advocacy natin dito uh, mm-hmm. i-share lang natin na yeah. ayan si Sir LJ Sumulong po siya yung masasabi ko na idol ko in terms of uh, agriculture uh, maraming marami akong natutunan kay Sir LJ din sa mga naunang episodes especially yung mindset ng tamang marketing para kumita yung isang farm ayan natutunan ko kay Sir LJ yon kaya Ang dami-dami kong videos dinidiscuss lagi about marketing. Actually, nanggaling. <laughs> <laughs> nanggaling lahat yun kay Sir LJ. <laughs> so, intro lang po ito. Uh, magtutur ho tayo para ipakita ni Sir yung facility, yung farm, at kanyang-kanyang yung kanyang breeding, ano, uh, what do you call that? Breeding program. program. Sige, Sir. Okay. Sige, Sir. <laughs> While sinusulat mo, kunan ko na rin. Yeah. Uh, pwede mong ini-explain na So, when you cross a full native to a Berkshire, mm. ang unang ilalabas is an F1. F1. Which is one half native Mm-mm. and one half Berkshire. No? So, so sa, sa breeding natin, I'm actually going in 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 two directions eh, no? one is to to improve the native mm-hmm. and one is to have a fully acclimatized island born birchires kasi iba yung klima natin dito eh. this is mm-hmm. a temperate breed mm-hmm. hindi pa siya uh, acclimatized talaga dito sa sa Philippines with extremes ng heat and mm-hmm. yung yung uh, yung yung rain natin mm. no? so to improve the native yung yung ginagawa namin is we take the F1 no so this is the improved native na strain no so we take an F1 and then we cross that with a native boar. But your native boar mo has to also be really selected. No? Okay. For the traits na gusto mo na, na, na hinahanap mo, and, and this really has to be by sight na lang mo eh, For now, no. Mm-mm. So, so when this happens, ang kalalabasan nito will be an F2 native. Mm-hmm. No, F2 native will be a three-fourths native. Uh-oh. One fourth. And then one fourth na lang ang Berkshire. Uh-oh. And then we will do this again. No. So you will cross the F2 in with the native again. Mm-hmm. And then ang magiging anak naman yan will be an F3 in. Ang F3 in naman will be Ako, I'm a little particular about this, eh, you know, kasi you really have to know yung yung lineage, yung mm-hmm. lineage and yung yung uh, pedigree ng mga ano mo so that alam mo talaga yung yung binibreed mo, eh, no? Mm-hmm. So again, gagawin mo naman dito is the F3N. Mm-hmm. You will cross this again with again these native boars cannot be the same one. Uh-huh. No, it has to be a different one, no? So, ang magiging anak naman yan will be an F4N. F4. <coughs> and this will be... And as, as you do this, pakwanti ng pakwanti yung mm-hmm. anin yan, no? So, with this F4N, Ang ikalalabas niyan is an F5. Okay. No? And this is... No? 
and so this will be your new native na hybrid no and ang gagawin mo naman dito is siya ang magiging bagong ano molet mm. no? and so you will do the whole process again mm -hmm. and then when you do it again then it will be ano na siya gen 2 no mm -hmm. so all the way down pagka ma matapos ka na naman sa second wave niyan uulitin mo na naman yan and then it will be gen 3 mm -hmm. no so medyo mahaba ang proseso yan sa ganyan and, and the same goes for the Berkshire no so ah this one ito naman yung reverse oh reverse naman ito mm -hmm. So, you'll take the F1, then you cross that to the Burke, mm -hmm. and then it will be the F2, diba? and then the F2 by the another Burke, mm -hmm. F3, F3. and the F3 by another Burke. F4. Mm -hmm. no. And then the F4 Burke by another Burke mm -hmm. is the F5. F5 Burke. No. And again, this is a uh, And then this will be your island born Burke. Mm -hmm. Babalik natin siya ulit dito. Eh, dito. Mm -hmm. Sa taas. Diba? <coughs> so, and then, Gen once two. you do this again, then it'll be Gen 2 na siya. Mm -hmm. Gen 2. Do the whole cycle, go back up again, then Gen 3. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sa, sa pag-develop kasi nito dito, uh, it, it will take a, a long time a long time talaga no pero it, it's what breeds mm -hmm. uh consistency mm -hmm. diba o other breeds took uh centuries to ano to to hindi naman centuries siguro pero decades to to really perfect mm -hmm. no but since tayo medyo ngayon lang tayo nagkakaroon ng na interest to improve this and to have this here mm -hmm. no so in order to have this here and to this for the for the Berkshire to fully thrive here, mm. eh, kailangan we have to have them acclimatized. And the only way for us to have them acclimatized here is to cross, cross them siya. with our natives. Otherwise, hindi hindi siya magta-thrive. So, mahirap, mahirapan. Mahirapan siya. Oh, no. And again, no, yung yung selection process ng ng breeders, it's it's uh, very mm. meticulous. Mm -hmm. no so kailangan medyo masela ng pagpili no like siguro sa amin ang ang selection rate namin siguro ang, ang selection rate for breeders no uh, kasi you, you not only have to select for uh, <coughs> For confirmation, mm -hmm. you also have to select for their uh, feed conversion. Mm -hmm. right? How how well they they do on the quality of feeds that you you give them. Mm -hmm. And since you class in ng, ng operation ko is not so heavily dependent on 
on commercial feeds but mm. rather on uh, yung mga produce na nakukuha natin sa palengke and what not mm. in mm. groceries mm. no they have to to be able to convert that into to animal protein uh, efficiently no so aside from that yung yung conversion nila kailangan din they're able to survive well sa heat ng summer mm -hmm. at saka sa, sa non-stop rains natin dito being in a tropical uh, region ng ano no so come here we we are running around 10 to 15 percent lang selection rate no so minsan out of a letter of 10 baka isa lang nakukuha namin no so ma maano talaga yung yung process ng ng pagpili mm -hmm. Although there there are some some litters that will give you more, mm -hmm. no. Pero ako whenever I go to the the farm and I select, mm -hmm. pinipili ko talaga yung tatanggalin eh. No kaya kaya ayaw ng mga baboy na pumunta ako doon eh. Di ba? Kasi syempre pag dumating ako doon, pag pinili ko sila at out na sila, ibig sabihin noon malilitsyon na sila. Litsyon na. Litsyon na sila, di ba? So, uh, ako, I'm, I'm always looking for faults pag nandun ako eh. Uh -huh. Pero pag nalusod sila as a breeder, eh, may, medyo maganda-ganda yung uh -huh. katayo. So, nila. yung lumusot dito, sir, it will hmm. be your breeders? Yeah. Yan yung mga ginagamit natin to breed. To breed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, ano yan, uh, for your own farm or for selling also? Both. For my Both. own farm and for selling. Uh -huh. no. Pero, you know, for, for purposes ng paglilitsyon lang or for for any commercial mm -hmm. venture and enterprise pwede ka na sa F1 okay na ito uh -huh. panlitsyon maganda na yan although in our experience ang pinakamagandang cross for litsyon is an F2N F2N yan ang pinakamagandang ano for ibig sabihin sir before you lichon. you will complete the cycle the first cycle pa lang ng Gen 1 ang dami ng litsyon dito sobra 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 majority litsyon talaga <laughs> diba okay diba I, I, ako naman kasi my, my whole purpose is, is really just to improve the native and to improve the, the Berkshire. Uh -oh. no, uh, it, it's not so much the, the commercial aspect of this. Eh. Uh -oh. So other farms don't need to do this. Yeah. Pero just so that they know kung ano yung ginagawa natin to improve the native and to improve the Berkshire. Mm -hmm. no? so, okay, sir, bakit ano? Ito na explain mo. Uh, we need this to do this para ma-acclimatize siya mm -mm. para babagay siya sa atin for the case of native bakit kailangan gawin to? Uh, for carcass improvement when I mean ah, carcass okay. yung, yung, yung yeah. karne uh -huh. no, just so that ma-improve yung carcass kasi yung native natin suffered from from years and years of, uh, of inbreeding inbreeding na no? Mm -hmm. So we have to to draw out all the good genes na lumalabas dyan mm -hmm. para ma, ma utilize naman natin. Kasi in spite of all the inbreeding, uh -oh. sobrang hardy pa rin nila. Uh -oh. eh, Doon ka naman ma matutuwa sa, sa breed ng native natin. Uh -oh. Atali lang sa, sa ilalim ng manga, bumabagyo. Pwede diba? pa rin. Minsan kasama pa yung mga beak niya, bumabagyo. Nandun <laughs> lang, no? So, dyan ka mabibilib. There was this one time pa nga eh. Meron akong isang kulungan sa lakas ng bagyo. Ano siya? Binaha, sir. No? And nanganak siya mm. nung, nung binaha yung kulungan niya. Pero buhay lahat ng big niya. Kahit na nagsiswimming, swimming mm. sila. Para mga ano, no? by, by morning, they, they all still survived. Kahit mm. na medyo binaha yung ano nila. Mm. So, bilib ako sa survivability and hardiness ng, ng native breed natin. Mm. So by doing this, nakuha mo yung hardiness mm -hmm. and yung mataas na survival plus magandang meat. Yes. Yun yes. yung perfect na black yeah. meat. Actually, maganda na yung, yung meat ng native to begin with. We're just adding, uh -huh. adding value pa. Mm -hmm. Additional value. Later on, I also want to show you the, the different kind of cuts that we experimented with mm -hmm. sa, sa mga Berkshire na, <coughs> na crosses natin mm -hmm. just so that we can tap the, the higher mm -hmm. market mm -hmm. para ma-enter ma natin yung mga wellness markets. Okay. So we, we created cuts na naka-French yung mga pork chops so mm -hmm. yung 
tip ng bones, malinis. Yung tamang cuts talaga, oh, sir. Then may tomahawk cuts pa kami. Uh -huh. And then yung thickness ng mga pork chops namin is about one inch thick. I, I gotta tell you, it, it eats like a steak. No? Ibang iba talaga. Mm -hmm. no? So, ayun, iba, iba talaga yung karne ng, ng Berkshire. Mm -hmm. So, by doing the right breeding and cultural management plus yung cuts, Mm -hmm. Premium talaga. Yes, yes, Premium. yes. There's also another way that other people improve the native. Okay. Without crossing another breed to it. Uh -huh. Yung ginagawa naman ng mga ibang tao to improve a native is just within the native na, na breed, mm. they just do breeding na ina-assure nila na walang inbreeding. Okay. So that's another way of doing that. So kung, let's say for example, native from Cagayan, cross oh. to native from Quezon. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Basta hindi sila related uh -huh. at kinocross sila, that's one way of improving them also. Mm -hmm. But you have to be very careful to, to always uh, maintain yung pedigree mo para alam mo kung sino yung nanay at tatay ng bawat na baboy na nabreed mo. So that mm -hmm. you can be assured na walang inbreeding. Mm -hmm. So yung ginagawa lang namin with all our piglets just to assure mm. good health is ano uh, iron no? okay ano yan two times yan no on uh, I think uh, if I remember correctly day one day and one? day day seven okay tapos uh, Deworming has to be done regularly. Yan mm. ang laging na ano na na mm. And ako, I, I, I usually use different brands every time ng mga dewormers ko. Mm -hmm. para yung ibang worms makuha rin and then um uh, hang ko na rabak and that's for ano sir ano siya pneumonia ah okay so yun lang yung yung mga yun lang ano namin sa kanila no other ano mm -hmm. no no antibiotics okay the ang, ang difference nitong management na to compared to yung mga commercial hog na white pig ano po yung difference sir ah uh, of course ito no antibiotics this, this is really more the ano no and ako I, I i haven't taken care of ano of of, of white pigs but Oh. Vaccine. Vaccine, yeah. okay. Oh. There, there might be other vaccinations pa na binibigay, pero kami, we just limit it to these. Okay na. Kasi, ano siya And these are important because, hmm, ano siya eh, uh, semi range yung pigs eh. Uh -oh. And since they're semi range talagang they'll be exposed to parasites kaya kailangan silang na ano. Mm -hmm. And since hindi sila naka-house, mm -hmm. kailangan medyo motiba yung, yung lungs nila, yung mm -hmm. respiratory system nila kaya kailangan uh, they can be able to withstand that they, they need this protection. Mm -hmm. So kami, rather than medicating Ano na kami? Prevention. Ah. Prevention. Prevention. Ah. Yeah. yeah, you just you have, you have to breed up all the time para you don't need to, to medicate. Mm -hmm. So ito yung management nyo <coughs> sa farm. Sir, yung ibang farmers na uh, nasa, nasanay dun sa native. Oo, oh, pinapayaan na lang. Wala, wala silang ginagawa. Oh. Paano natin i-reconcile yun? Why kailangan nilang gawin ito? Or... Dahil ba pure native sila, totally hindi nila kailangan to? But, or actually, kailangan nila to, hindi lang nila ginagawa? Kailangan, I mean, maybe, uh, uh, 
lack of guidance or ano, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not sure no sa 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 bundok yung mga iba they they think na nakakalaso ng kampampurga okay. sa sa baboy pero to necessary ito eh kasi kung hindi yung kinakain mo mapu- kinakain ng baboy mapupunta lang sa parasites eh. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you really have to make sure that what they eat goes goes to their to them mm-hmm. para hindi masayang yung nutrition nila. Mm-hmm. So yan yung yan yung ginagawa natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. very timely rin yung pagpunta natin ngayon diyan kasi you know we just we just uh we're recovering from a uh pandemic Mm-mm. and the whole industry was was affected so, luckily tayo hindi although the market was greatly affected uh, for for a few months natambakan talaga ako ng mga biik kasi hindi hindi nakaka benta ng lechon hindi you know, so uh, we had to innovate and, and find ways to to dispose of animals and then hindi rin kami makapagbenta ng breeders kasi uh, the Trouble sale of yeah ah. the sale of breeders uh sa, sa different uh, provinces was was no longer allowed Uh-oh. so yun yung mga na, problema na hinarap namin mm-hmm. so, sir aside further. from the pandemic yung ASF na, may effect ba sa inyo well luckily hindi kami naapektuhan ng ASF other than the market itself Uh-oh. no uh fr- from my understanding of ASF was that uh hindi kami naging vulnerable to that because one we were not close to any other farms mm-hmm. and two hindi kami nagpapakain ng kanin baboy mm-hmm. no? so yung cost kasi ng, ng ASF is from yung mga baboy kumakain ng baboy na infected ng ASF mm-hmm. eh, since ang pinapakain lang namin sa kanila are, are uh, plant proteins mm-hmm. and uh, you know, high fiber ano, and some grains mm-hmm. Uh, wala talagang possibility na makaka makakain ng mga baboy natin ng infected na Mm-mm. meat ng may ASF. Ano yun sir? Diba yung mga LGUs <coughs> ang, ang directives sa kanila all pigs affected or not kinukuha nila? Only the ones that have uh, th- that are covered in a certain radius from farms that have been infected. Ah, okay. So, so far, farms like us na hindi na, na affect we were tested and swabbed a few times uh-huh. by uh, the city vet office and provincial vet office because mm-hmm. they were identifying what they called sentinel farms mm-hmm. and these sentinel farms are the farms na hindi nga na apektuhan ng ASF and mm-hmm. whose farms survived itong uh, Ano, uh, ASF. Mm-hmm. No? So we were swabbed a few times to check to see kung uh, mm-hmm. nagkaroon ng outbreak ng ASF dito. Negative lahat ng findings. So uh, we were identified as one of the sentinel farms na pwedeng pagkunan ng, ng, ng lahi ng baboy na ASF free. Mm-hmm. Sir, last na lang. Before tayo pumunta dun sa farm, i-recap lang natin. Ella, para maklose up lang, sir. Yung from... Very simple ano lang sir mabilis na yung dalawang process. Yung yung uh, trust ng breeding program natin is broken down into two. Mm-hmm. To improve the native and to create an island-born acclimatized Berkshire. Mm-hmm. To do this, we do an initial cross of a native and a Berkshire. Uh-huh. Itong initial cross na ito is an F1. F1. And the F1 is the starting point mm-hmm. on both uh, programs. Mm-hmm. No? Kasi pagka improve natin na native, we start with the F1, cross natin sa isang native na unrelated naman dyan uh-huh. para mag-create tayo ng F2. Mm-hmm. Itong F2 na ito is a three-fourths native and one-fourth Berkshire. And then uh, yung F2 natin, cross na naman cross. natin sa isang native na unrelated mm-hmm. bore ulit uh-huh. na na talagang selected din mm-hmm. no? and then that will create uh, an F3 native mm-hmm. F3 native naman will be a 7 8 native mm-hmm. and 1 8 mm-hmm. Berkshire and then this F3 native <coughs> again you cross this again with another uh, unrelated boar mm-hmm. and it will create an F4 native mm-hmm. the F4 native is a 15 16 native and 1 16 Berkshire mm-hmm. no halos Palos papuro na yan, mm-hmm. no? 
And so yung F4 native na yan, i-cross na naman sa uh, isang unrelated na, na bore. <coughs> and then that will create the F5 native. 31 over 32 na native and 1 over 32 na Berkshire. This is considered pure na. Uh -huh. you know? Then you restart again. You do it again. You know? And then once you, you go on your next cycle, mm -hmm. then that will be your Gen 2. Mm -hmm. you go through the whole process again. You start again, that will be your Gen 3. Gen 3. So on and so forth. But you keep just doing that cycle. Mm -hmm. And ganun din po pagkadating sa ating mga Berkshire. Start with the F1, cross it with the Berkshire. Kami, we use uh, frozen semen mm -hmm. and artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. So the F1 creates the F2 Berkshire. Mm -hmm. Then the F2 Berkshire bred again to mm -hmm. another uh, bore through artificial insemination, creates the F3 Berkshire. So on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Kung dumating ka na dito, balik ka na naman dyan. Uh -huh. And then we start again with another F1. Mm -hmm. And then from there, then you will have your Gen 2. Uh -huh. So, paulit-ulit lang yung cycle. Kailan titigil, <coughs> sir? Ilang generations yan? Uh, y y yung mga producers ng mga seed stock, I think continuous, continuous lang talaga. Continuous lang yan. So, and it, it, it's a process na medyo, medyo maselan and it, it will really try your patience pero very uh, satisfying naman pagka nakikita mo yung mga produkto. Mm -mm. Tapos sir, since matagal ka nang nagbe-breed, since one po yan? <coughs> well, I, I really started in 2006 pero I started yung artificial insemination in, in 2011. Ito, uh -huh. no? uh, Tapos na ako dito, nasa Gen 2 na ako ng F1. Pero dito, hanggang F4B pa lang ako. So F4 Berkshire, medyo nahihirapan pa kami mag, uh, magkaroon ng selection beyond the 10%. Mm -hmm. Kasi after a certain, pagka bumababa na bumababa yung, yung native, lalong humihina. Eh. Kaya talagang medyo matagal yung process. Mm -hmm. yung, yung F3 namin, it took me over a year and a half to get a certain consistency dyan. So, yung first na nag-produce kami ng mga F3, mm -hmm. after a certain time, lahat sila nare-reject. Mm -hmm. so, and para sa akin, okay lang mag-reject. Huwag na mag magpilit na hindi talaga kaya. Eh. Mm -hmm. diba? And now, halos consistent na yung production ng F3 na Berkshire, ng mga 7 mm -hmm. Dito sa F4, siguro, ilan pa lang yung napoproduce namin dito. At Halos hindi ko rin mahindihan yung mga pumupunta dito at inaawitan ng mga bilyon. Kaya hirap na hirap ako mag-progress sa, sa, sa breeding program so, natin. So supposedly Pero, for your breeding na, na bibili na? Oo. oo, oo no? okay. I only hope that they're also still continuing this program. Pina, pinapaliwanan ko na rin naman yun sa kanila. And, and they all have uh, an understanding din naman ng, ng livestock ano eh, mm. uh, breeding so, or reproduction. So... Uh, I, I hope na, na natutuloy din nila. Sayang eh. Napakahirap umabot dito. Store tayo sa doon sa yeah, yeah. farm. So, talakad? Good, 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 good. <laughs> Aba! <laughs> Ah, pa. Sa bales. These are some of the breeders that were selected. Hala. Mga F5 natives. This one, F oh. F5 na. Oh. About, uh, Anong itsura niya? Babalik siya doon sa itsura ng native? Hindi na. Ito, native ito. Breeding natin dito. Ang malaki ba na lang. Iba na talaga eh, pagka malaki. Oh. Diba? These are some for selection. <coughs>
ilang months these are sir? probably around two and a half months oh bilis ah uh oh so there are uh f5n's and uh f3b's <coughs> Yan and the ones here outside are um breeders then mm -hmm. breeders pre selected <coughs> again pagka ganyan yan hindi pa rin sila fully uh, nakakalusot sa selection process kasi mm -hmm. uh, right now they're just being tested for the heat of the summer mm -hmm. no eh, pagkadating ng rains we'll see how they survive that and then um, i usually do the final selection for breeders around Six months. <coughs> Six months. So, how long months are these? These are probably around four and a half. Mm -hmm. Umbagan as a last stage, na. Yeah. Yeah. Selection. Yeah. Like this one is probably not gonna make the cut mm -hmm. as a breeder, so she'll probably be set aside for ano na lang for commercial um, commercial cuts ng ng meat. Bakit, sir? Uh, close up naman. Bakit hindi siya pasado? Well, he, yung, yung broadness na shoulders is not mm -hmm. exactly what Dito. I know. Ito, sir, no? Yeah. Yung broadness na shoulders is not exactly what I'm, I'm looking for. Maliit or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at this stage, kasi, they're already being fed na ano eh, primarily vegetables and uh, and grains. Mm -mm. So they have to be able to start converting that. Pero yun, maganda na yun. Nakahiga na yun doon. So para you have to train your eye then, no? Yeah, kasi, yeah. As it is, parang hindi, pag hindi ka marunong, hindi mo talaga alam kung... Mm -mm. So, ito daw. Yan. Punta ka doon. Lapitan mo siya doon. Maganda daw siya. Yung nakaiga. Yan, yan. So, most likely, papasa to, sir. Yeah. Okay. Iba siya. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba masyadong strict yung standards mo? Oh, shouldn't all standards be <laughs> high? <coughs> okay. Tsaka ano, on, on occasion lang kami nagpa-power spray sa kanila para mag, mag ano ng, uh, uh, pa, para palamigin sila. Mm -hmm. Other than that, then they, they just look for other ways to cool themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But here, there are a lot potential here. Mm -hmm. Like that one. This one? This one. Ah, the top. Mm -hmm. This one also. And this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a couple of days, they'll be set, set out in the paddock. Mm -hmm. Like that, it's a so, slow grower. It's not that. Maybe there's a little difference in the paddock. Uh, a, a month a month difference hitting mm. ng sa record mm -mm. because i'm in between transferring farms and uh, mm -mm. i don't have the luxury of this the space just yet no, it's totally separated sila lahat oh that uh, every batch kakai wala yan eh. This one is a mm. F5 native. Mm -hmm. This female is an F5 eh. native. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tapos so, anak niya to, Look at the litter size. Yeah. Oh. Ganda. I think there's 10 of them. Mm. Tapos, ganyan yung katawan niya. While nursing, mm -hmm. ito pagkain niya. So, 
gusto yung let's say yung let's say F5 or F3 native compared to F3 or F5 na Berkshire Island born. Hindi mo makita yung difference. Um, we know them by earmark. Ah. Oh. That's how we distinguish them. Mm -mm. By ear notches. We also have ear tags, pero from time to time na tatanggal we just have to keep replacing para ano, para hindi mawala yung record. But I, I think this one is on her sixth parity na. Mm -hmm. So, you sabihin, pang-anim na beses na siyang nanganak. That's mm -hmm. parang peak of her performance. Mm -hmm. And pagka umabot na siya ng eight, i-retire na siya. Ito, mm -hmm. so this is an F5 native na boar. Okay. This is also an F5 native na boar. Mm -hmm. Wala talaga, hindi mo talaga makita na, na native siya. <laughs> Kahit na dun sa F1 lang siya nang galing. Oo. Hindi mo na makita. Yung kasama niya doon is an F3 Berkshire mm -hmm. na, na yeah. war that, that's being ano, evaluated pa kung lulusot. Pero as, as it is, mukhang promising siya. And oddly, pagka tag-ulan, lalong gumaganda ka toon nila. <laughs> May misconception minsan sa pagpili ng animals, lalo na sa mga... Berkshire na breeding mm -hmm. na minsan yung mga iba naghahanap ng yung usual na markings ng Berkshire which is yung yung puti sa muka, yung apat na medyas saka yung puti sa buntot mm -hmm. uh, siguro just to be able to show na parang Berkshire yung pinanggalingan pero para sa akin hindi na masyado importante yan eh kasi <coughs> pagka kumakain ka ng pork chop o ng Nang lechon, tinatanong mo ba ba kung may puti ba yun sa, <laughs> sa paa or, okay. or sa, sa muka? Di ba? Hindi na eh. Importante dyan talaga is, <coughs> did they grow fast enough? Maganda okay. ba yung katawan? Mm -hmm. Di ba? We're, we're, are they hardy enough to survive in tropical climate natin? Mm -hmm. Yan yung mga importanteng questions dyan. Color is irrelevant. <coughs> yung mga iba nga also discard yung mga spotted na na animals eh mm -hmm. no, yung spotted na, na na pigs pero minsan yan pa yung mga mas magaganda lumaki <coughs> kaya I, I also imported yung may, may British breed then that that shares the same qualities as the Berkshire mm -hmm. yung tawag nila doon yung Gloucestershire mm -hmm. Old Spot mm -hmm. uh, so nag import din ako noon and mm -hmm. I'm I've been trying to breed that here also Pero, nahihirapan din ako sa selection. Kasi, mm -hmm. ibibreed ko siya sa mga spotted ko. E, tapos, yung similia na frozen, eh, old spot siya. So, spotted din siya. Kasi, mm -hmm. ng mga anak, itim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're counting on them to be spotted also. No? So, uh, it, it's a work in progress. Pero, magaganda yung, uh, magaganda yung katawan. Mm -hmm. Magaganda yung... Uh, uh, hardiness nila. Mm -mm. It's just that to, to breed for color means and it's mm -mm. Im impractical. <coughs> Pero I'm trying para sa old spot. Mm -mm. Pero sa, sa Berkshire, sa akin irrelevant na yung yung markings na puti. Most important thing, body conformation talaga. Imported sir yung mga semen mo, di ba? Yes, yes. Gano kaya mahal yun? It varies. It varies on the particular bore na kinukuha mo mm -hmm. and uh, syempre pagka mas marami mas, mas mura mm -hmm. uh, sa America it, it will range between 50 to 100 dollars kada straw no? sa sa galing UK I estimate it parang ganun din pero mas mura pa yung galing UK kesa sa America Paano ka sir na napunta sa black pig breeding? Mm. 
ano lang ano uh, I, I think if I remember correctly yung yung uh, yung pinsan ko nagalaga ng uh, puting baboy mm. and uh, nagpakain ng uh, kanin baboy and then parang I, I, I felt that merong baka may better alternative sa ganun and so mm. nagpahanap ako ng native and then I started researching sa, sa internet nung range na baboy mm. and then uh, alternative na pag-aalaga kaysa na yung sa mahal na housing mm. and uh, alternative na feeding Mm-hmm. So, dun tayo napunta sa, sa natives. So, I started with with four heads galing mm-hmm. sa bundok. Dito rin sa Antipolo, sa mm-hmm. Kalawis. Mm-hmm. Barangay Kalawis. And uh, mm-hmm. dun nag-umpisa. So, lahat dito galing sa ano, Barangay Kalawis. <coughs> eh, pag uh, pumupunta nga dito yung mga kaibigan ko galing Kalawis, hindi makapaniwala na galing Ayan ito na sa kanila. Eh. Kasi ang lalaki na eh. Ito, isa to sa mga... F5N natives na inahin natin. Napakaganda ng katawan talaga. Oh. Mm-hmm. And ito yung mga body types na nagbibigay na magagandang biik talaga for for breeders. Tino mo, heat of the summer. Yeah. Pero bilog na bilog ang katawan. Tapos, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Naganyan ang katawan. Di ba? You 100% to sir, um, fruits and veggies, 100%? Ah, hindi, hindi. Siguro may 20% yan na uh, ano, uh, uh, darak ng mais. Oh, okay. Na yung darak ng mais, hindi naman natin masasabing uh, organic kasi hindi natin alam yung source. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi naman tayo nagkiklaim na organic yung production natin. Eh. Mm-hmm. All, all, all our claims are... Ano, uh, naturally raised naturally. and naturally fed. Mm-hmm. Kasi, uh, ang mga baboy naman, they, they, they eat kung nasa wild yan, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. High fiber yung diet nila. Mm-hmm. Oh. And uh, root crops, hindi naman yan mga kakain ng mga pellets mm-hmm. <laughs> sa, mm-hmm. sa, sa gubat. So, yan yung sinusubukan natin na uh, gayahin na, ano, na sistema. Yung seryoso na nagbe-breed, ikaw lang yan. Marami na. Ah, mayroon din? Marami na, marami na. Pero gumaya sila? I wouldn't say gumaya. Siguro, ano, uh, uh, the, same, na potential. the same inspiration. Alright. The same inspiration. Uh-huh. So, eh, nakakatunga eh. Nakatanggal na stress. <laughs> Di ba? Kasi kung how much time you put into it, Mm-hmm. How much resources and effort you put mm-hmm. into it. Eh. Alas ganun din talaga ibabalik sa'yo. Mm-hmm. So sir, ang talagang uh, business is breeding. Mm-hmm. Pero lahat ng hindi pumasa sa breeding mo, automatic siya. Lechon. Lechon, yes. Lechon. Which is sarili nyo rin brand. Yes. Uh, so wala yung uh, somebody will buy the pig para sila yung maglilechon mo rin. No. Ano ang advantage na sir? Well, ang, ang sa negosyo ng paglilichon, mm-hmm. ang biik ay isa sa mga uh, uh, ingredients, uh-huh. di ba? Sa, or, or raw materials para sa lechon. Eh. Mm-hmm. And so, sa lahat ng mga lechonero naman, syempre, gusto natin uh, makatipid sa pagbili ng mga, sa mga ingredients natin or mm-hmm. raw materials. And so, minsan... Eh, para makatipid minsan mm-hmm. pag bumili ka sa breeder ng baboy either uh-huh. makakabili ka ng may sakit or pilay or ano eh, at least tayo naman yung binebenta natin na lechon healthy mm-hmm. hindi lang pumasa sa standards natin uh-huh. but for the for food consumption mataas yun ay oo sobrang taas nun yes yes yes, yes, yes. Yeah. and meron din kaming mga napili na inahin for uh, lechon lines. Okay. No? Uh, uh, these are the shorter-bodied uh, 
na inahin mm-hmm. tapos yung medyo laylay yung yung chan mm-hmm. no, kasi yun yung feedback sa akin ng mga uh, nagluluto para sa atin and so we had identified some lines sa ganun binukod namin mm-hmm. and so we started breeding towards that naman tapos sarili niyo yung recipe yes, recipe yes, niya yes. rin ano kami na kumuha kami ng course Uh-oh. sa kay Chef Reggie Espiras uh-huh. and then uh, nagpa-training kami sa ilang lechonero from several places mm-hmm. no? from Samar, from Cebu <coughs> and then uh, yung isa namin kaibigan na chef uh, sat down with us and put together everything na, mm-hmm. na natutunan namin and came out with a recipe na, ano, mm-hmm. na acceptable naman sa lahat at mm-hmm. pinaka-importante Walang MSG. Uh-huh. All natural ingredients. The concept is farm to table. Yes. E pati nga yung tanglad, sarili na rin rin. namin tanim. Dito rin sa farm nakatanim. Yeah, yung leeks, sarili Dito rin namin tanim. Uh, sinusubukan pa namin yung bawang pero medyo hirap dito sa Antipolo. So, now we're, we're just sourcing from Ilocos, yung bawang tsaka The yung, native one. yung sibuyas. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a little more expensive pero... Ano naman sa lasa? Ah, tapos naman sa lasa. Mm-hmm. So ito pa yung ano sinasabi ko na si Sir ay eh, ano um, uh, wala siyang problem doon sa market niya kasi sobrang identified anong klasing produkto para kanino and lahat produce niya. Yeah. <laughs> 'Di ba sir? Again kasi lagi sir yung problem ng ng farmers. Mm-hmm. Lagi silang ang mindset naka-asa sila to somebody that will buy their produce. It's either livestock or crops. Kaya lagi sila nagkakaproblema. Pero yun nga, meron naman ibang option. Kagaya ng ginagawa ninyo na produkto talaga yung lumalabas. Hindi raw material. Yeah, well, you know, if I, I'm, I'm a walking and talking commercial tungkol sa mga baboy na alaga natin eh. Halos lahat na nakakausap ko. Mm-hmm. Kinikwentohan ko tungkol sa pag-aalaga natin ng baboy at mm-hmm. difference ng sistema mm-hmm. para magkaroon naman sila ng appreciation sa added value ng, mm-hmm. ng ginagawa natin. Mm-hmm. Sir, yung mga previous episodes natin, in-explain mo doon yung ano, yung para kumita ka, kailangan i-market mo siya. Gagawa ka, mo na, gagawa ka ng way para may market mo na maayos ang produkto para kumita ka. Yes. Eh, kailangan, tinatrabaho mo rin. Tinatrabaho. Mm-hmm. Uh, in your case, sir, yung lechon ninyo, pag, ano, laging sold out, no? Yes. Kulang lagi. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, Christmas usually we're sold out by third week of November. So, pre-orders. Pre-orders. Oo. Mga ilang pigs yun, sir? You're talking about how many people? Uh, minsan up to about 300. Oh. It depends on the good year, but the last two years oh. have been a little slow, so we scaled back in production. I mean, oh. previous years must matas pa. Oh. Tapos yun na ibenta mo yun na premium price. Yun yun tama lang na presyo. Tama yung, lang na presyo. Yung kagandahan kasi niya is that. Uh, yung feed cost namin is is so low uh-huh. na yung yung presyo namin ng 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 lechon is very competitive. Mm-hmm. Paano mo ginawa yun, sir? Any tips pa paano naging uh... okay lang, innovative ka lang sa sourcing ng pagkain ng baboy. Yan talaga. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything pwede mo na may baba yung cost, may baba yung pricing mo. Uh, or not necessarily. Well, 70% kasi nga ng, ng most uh, livestock uh, business ay eh, nasa uh, feeds. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, doon ka talaga mag, mag-innovate. Mm-hmm. No? So, meron din kaming mga tanim na legumes na dinadagdag din sa, sa kanila. And of mm-hmm. course, yung mga output din dito sa, sa farm natin, yung mga nahulog na mangga, mm-hmm. yung mga na overripe na saging, mm-hmm. mga kamyas, santol, uh, Duhat, kung ano man yung ano, binibigay din namin sa kanila. So, overall, it adds uh, additional character sa lasa ng nung, nung karne.
Yeah. Ito, F2 native ito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, F2. lahat yan, wala kaming i-retain dito for, for breeding. These are all for lechon. Bakit, sir? Uh, ano ito eh? Hindi ito yung Gen 2 eh. So, redundant for us to to breed F2 natives. So, yung breeding purpose niya really is just for for lechon. For lechon. Pero sa itsura pa lang ng biik eh, malusog na malusog. Mm -hmm. Again, for for lechon, super ganda pa rin nila. Sobra. Sobra, Sobra pa rin. Sa lechon kasi, ano yan eh. Uh, well, one, you have to have a good breed mm -mm. ng baboy. Mm -mm. Two, uh, importante dyan yung age. Mm -mm. No? Kailangan hindi masyadong matanda. Mm -mm. Uh, three, yung timpla. At saka yung luto, kailangan maayos. Mm -mm. So, yun lang naman yung mga factors yan to have a good lechon. Mm -mm. And I understand, sir, ito, aside from business, ginagawa mo rin ano, part of your charities, advocacy. advocacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Nag-tie up ako sa, sa Rotary. Mm -hmm. nag, uh, nag Gumawa kami ng ano, animal dispersal program. Mm -hmm. So, nag-tie up kami sa isang co-op ng farmers. Mm -hmm. Nagbigay kami ng mga biik sa kanila at marako. Mm -hmm. And then yung mga anak nun, Mm -hmm. Ibabalik nila sa, sa Rotary. Mm -hmm. Kasi pamimigay na naman ng Rotary yan sa ibang samahan. Uh -oh. So yung anak naman nun, ganun din. Uh -oh. Pamimigay na naman sa ano. So it, it will be an ongoing program so that maraming taong pwede makinabang sa, sa breed at, at magkaroon ng hanap buhay. Mm -hmm. Tapos sir, ano, no? aside from ito, ang dami mo pang charities <laughs> na not related to agriculture. Ang mm -hmm. dami mong ginagawa. Uh, Ano ba yung kasabihan nila? Diba? When you... Pagka meron kang konting blessings, edi... Mm -hmm. Pahabaan mo na lang yung lamesa mo. So, para mm -hmm. ma-share mo yung blessings. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, yun yung... Yun na lang yung pinaka-ano natin. Uh, pinaka... I don't know. Yung sin sin pinaka sinusundan na lang namin ang misis ko. Kasi, uh -huh. one way or another, bumabalik din naman. Uh -huh. Sir, mga naririnig kong feedback sa'yo, ang dali mo daw lapitan. <laughs> eh, ano eh, may mahirap talaga yung panahon, di ba? Alam, alam din naman natin what it's like uh, to face difficulties sa buhay, uh -huh. di ba? So, ano naman na makapag, makatulong tayo ng konti, mm -hmm. di ba? So, yun lang naman. <clears throat> be there to be a helping hand sa mga kaibigan natin na nangangailangan. Mm -hmm. Okay sir, uh, doon sa mga audience po natin uh, na naghanap ng mga business opportunities like for example livestock kagaya ng black tea, upgraded black tea. Ano po sir ang masasabi nyo sa kanila? Uh, <clears throat> sa mga viewers ng agribusiness, uh, I would like to first uh, pasalamatan ang ating kaibigan ng si Sir Buddy kasi kung hindi sa kanya, hindi makikilala itong ginagawa natin sa pag-aalaga ng, ng itim na baboy, ng ating native, at yung pag-cross ng, ng Berkshire. And uh, napakalaki ang potential at uh, opportunity dito. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I encourage you to follow yung agribusiness site kasi there, there's so much to learn sa advocacy ni Sir, Sir Buddy to strengthen yung food security sa Pilipinas. At iisal pa lamang ang pag-aalaga ng baboy dito. Uh, there, there are so many other opportunities here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, isa po ako sa mga resources na natap ni Buddy and uh, I'm more than happy to share kung ano man ang uh, nalalaman ko or natutunan ko sa mm -hmm. uh, maikling experience ko dito. So, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat at maraming salamat Buddy yes, for all your help. Apo. <laughs> si Sir LJ po, number 16. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, sumulong tayo, Auntie Paula. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Second district, sir, no? Yes, second Counselor, district. Counselor, second, dis second district. Thank you. 
available na po ang Agribusiness merch sa Shopee. Ang uh, link nasa description box.